we all know that there are surgical procedures that are very major cancer operations, total joint replacements, but we're also aware of minor procedures such as appendectomy, knee arthroscopy, or ligament repair. So that oftentimes, in terms of blood clot prevention, it hasn't in the past been generally known that some of these simpler procedures may also carry a high risk of blood clots. Sure, the big procedures carry a high risk of blood clots. What about these minor, more minor procedures? In order to understand that better, let's see what happens when an anesthetic is given to the patient. And when that happens, the patient's muscles are paralyzed, the leg muscles relax, the veins in the legs can actually start to get big. Just like if you hung, uh, hung your hand down over your side, those veins would get big. And if you left them there for an hour, then the, the walls might crack. In addition to that, the blood, of, blood flow is slowed down. And then finally, those muscles are still metabolizing, so they're producing waste products, but they're now sitting around in that slowed down blood flow, and so the blood clot, blood clot can be accelerated, increased blood coagulability. As a result of all of that, that can develop into a picture, and here we have a picture of a vein capillary that has cracks in it, and in those cracks, blood clots can form, and that's because the veins have gotten overly large. Now, in addition to that, we have the, the situation where if the patient's legs are flat on the table, then that actually can obstruct the vein behind the knee. And here we have a video, and you see the blue there? That's the blood flowing behind the knee, and if the, the knee slightly bent. If we straighten that, then that shuts down that vein, and as a result of that, the blood has to go around it, so again, it's slowed down. Sometimes these minor surgical procedures, especially in young people, I've seen people die after these young, after these simple procedures. And people say, what happened? And a careful risk assessment for factors wasn't done, particularly a family history of thrombosis. Now, what is really interesting is that if a person is at risk for a blood clot and they receive a week of anticoagulant prevention, like with a heparin or low molecular weight heparin, their incidence of fatality, which might be 5% in those young people I talked about, is reduced to a tenth of a percent. And that's a pretty good percentage. So ask your doctor about your risk factors and ask your doctor what they plan to do uh, in order to prevent a blood clot if you should be at very high risk.